oh, my camera's not working properly, because <laughs> now you can see where I am. Okay, this is fake, <laughs> this is real, and here we go. And my husband has to come in and fix it, because we have what? no technical people coming into the house. Oh, he fixed it. I the man is a genius, we, thank we you. We have the same issues here as well. well. <laughs> He said to tell you he loves you, as do I. I was telling you off camera how much I appreciate your work, especially in the reader, which, by the way, people can get on Amazon Prime. You should watch that movie. It's Such fantastic. Movie, but yeah. let's talk about this movie, because you reunited with your Titanic director, James Cameron, to shoot the upcoming Avatar sequel. This is fascinating. You actually filmed a scene underwater where you held your breath for over seven minutes. Seven minutes. Tom Cruise, yeah. his record was six minutes for Mission impossible so uh what's your secret how'd you do that <laughs> uh, training it's not something i could just jump in the bath and do right now um i had some uh, extraordinary training with a brilliant brilliant uh breath hold instructor named kirk croc and uh he he got me to seven minutes 14 what can i say it, it was uh it was a training session one day and and, and we just went for it and uh seven minutes 14 <laughs> i know i'm very proud of that actually <laughs> Unreal. Movie, I get to ask about my, my movie. God. So it's been 20 years, but Titanic <laughs> is still one of the most beloved movies of all time. But there's some controversy. And I know you've heard of this before, the iconic final scene in the water where you say, I'll never let you go, Jack, because you did let him go and he, he drowned. <laughs> and it, my question for you is not whether he could have gotten up or not gotten up. You didn't even try. Like, why did you not try? It was Jack. Like, no, I don't understand. I, I agree. <laughs> I really agree. And actually, just the other day, a friend of mine said, come on, we have to actually have this conversation. Let's break it down. You, like, there was a half-hearted attempt at getting him on the door. Yeah. But not really. I totally agree. We should have tried harder. We should have fallen off a bunch of times yeah. before we completely just <laughs> let tried, the whole idea go. I, I have agree. tried harder on a unicorn-shaped <laughs> floaty in a pool than you did on on that door and that was the love of your life. I know, I agree. <laughs> look, look how much space there is on that door. I know. He totally right. could have gotten on that. I mean, I'm not that big. No. He could have gotten on that door. <laughs> I agree. And you got hypothermia f filming that scene. Is that true? Actually, it wasn't that scene. It was another scene. But yes, I did was get it the water When you were running down the hallways, right? When you were running down the hallways I under... To be perfectly honest, I think it was just doing scenes over and over again and having to stay in the water for prolonged periods of time. I actually mm -hmm. forget specifically what scene it was, being truthful. But yeah, quite a few of us got hypothermia from time to time on that show. Oh. Well, I'm glad you cleared that up well, for us. I feel the... better now. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I can see she'll sleep better tonight. She'll sleep much better tonight, Kate, because you were able to explain that. So <laughs> well, we want to say thank you happy. for coming. It was always a pleasure to see you. Ammonite is in theaters now and on demand on Friday.